About one in three adults with dementia continue to be active drivers, and 50% of them continue driving for up to three years after their diagnosis. But now a new clinical trial is underway to see whether cognitive changes that may lead to dementia down the road could be detected through driving years earlier. Ursula Perry explains how it works. Norma and Joyce Dome like to travel the old fashioned way. He doesn't like to fly. <laughs> So we just like to see the USA by wheels. But this year, Norman will be 80 years old, and he knows he has a greater risk for mild cognitive impairment, and that can affect his driving. When you drive, you have to take into account dozens, if not hundreds, of different things happening at once. And that's hard when your brain isn't working as well as it used to. Especially for drivers with dementia, they may have difficulty changing lanes, making left turns, merging, following routes, or even driving at night. But researchers believe that cognitive changes seen in driving may give early insight to dementia before noticeable symptoms can be seen. I think of it as a brand new early warning system. They are partnering with engineers to develop and test an in-vehicle sensing system equipped with onboard diagnostics, GPS, and cameras. Driver-facing video uh, has, can have AI that can detect the dodginess, distract, distraction, and also you can track the eye movement. The goal is to see which driving changes indicate cognitive decline. Norman is taking part in the trial in the in-vehicle sensing system. Even though Norman and his wife feel he is a safe driver now, any changes detected by the system can give them an early warning so that Norman can then hit the brakes. I want to be safe to drive so that it you know, nobody else will be in danger because of me. The trial will follow drivers for three years. If you want to participate, you need to be 65 or older, have a driver's license, a car, car insurance, and no diagnosed cognitive impairment. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.